Thank you for having me. Well, supporting home-based businesses is a very important function of both the county as well as the Chamber of Commerce. And so we have over 2,500 home-based businesses right here in York County. We wanted to get involved with some of these businesses and figure out the whys and the hows of what they do and why they do it. And that's exactly what we did. So you are today well, I rang the doorbell, and believe it or not, they let me in. Hi, I'm Chris Davidson, and this is Coffee at Home. So let's see if she's got my coffee ready. Hey, hey Melissa, come good on to see in. you. Good Thanks for having you me. Too. Sure, come on in. start with a little bit about your background professionally, personally, and kind of tell me the story about what led you to coming home to operate your business. I never thought I'd be here. Um, I, I, you know, I, I was a very happy office worker and uh, loved dressing up, going into work every day, and could not have imagined being alone at home every day. But as it happens, I just started a little side gig and said, well, let me, let me do a little bit of freelancing. People would say, oh, could you write something for me? I've got this website, can you write some stuff? Or could you uh, help me with this letter? Help me with this brochure? And uh, it just kind of blew up from there. And that was back in 2008. And so uh, as time progressed, I, I did more and more work on my business and less and less as, as an office worker. So what do you like most about it? But what have you found most challenging? I think what I like most is being able to be comfortable. Uh, you know, desk chairs, no matter how many cushions they put on them, are really just not that comfortable. I'm, uh, maybe it's because I'm a mom, I like to sit crisscross applesauce. Uh, I like to just curl up on the couch, I work from bed, I work from the screen porch. Uh, I just, I find wherever I can just kind of curl up and get creative. I'm, I'm in a creative job, I've got to come up with ideas from nowhere. And uh, if I can borrow a line from Anne of Green Gables, my house gives me more scope for imagination. So I can go out into my garden and pick some strawberries and just think of a good headline, come back and sit down and pop it out. If I was sitting in a cubicle or in an office, uh, that, that doesn't necessarily happen as easily. Do household distractions ever take your focus away from what you're working on? Always. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you deal with that? It's, it, it, you know, it's a balancing act that you learn. Um, I, I have two cats. They're my coworkers, and uh, you know they're great coworkers because they don't steal your lunch, they don't gossip behind your back. But as soon as I get on a call, uh, one of them starts meowing to be fed, and so it never fails. Uh, I, we've not we've not worked out that system quite yet. So can you give an example of maybe a, one of your clients and what type of things that you might do for them? Well, uh, my longest time client is Smart Beginnings Virginia Peninsula, and they advocate for early childhood, and um, that's a cause that not only am I getting paid to do work, but I feel like I'm making a difference in our community, which I love. And I do a lot of different marketing materials for them. I do their website, I do brochures, business cards, uh, I've done fundraising letters for them. And really, that uh, a lot of what I do for them runs the gamut of what I offer for any of my clients. I, I have a big variety in, in what I do in my business. Well, I just want to congratulate you on all your success. I mean, you've got some major clients, and you've done uh, really great things for them. You have an awesome business, uh, able to balance work and life together, literally in the same place. Yeah. So um, I know it can't be easy, but I know it can be done. So what advice would you give to someone who may be thinking about starting a business and working from their home? Great question. Well, I wish that I had come to the uh, economic development office first when I had started out rather than finding things out through trial and error. Uh, now that I'm really more involved with the county and attending these events, I'm, my eyes are open to all these different opportunities that are there. So I would tell somebody, call them up first. Find out ways that they can help you, people they can connect you with. You might not have you know, maybe a good accountant to make sure you know how to file all the different paperwork. Uh, you know, becoming an LLC was its own little process for me, and uh, it, it really helps a lot. You don't want to make any missteps starting your business. Well, Melissa, thank you so much for having me here today. Appreciate having coffee at your home, and uh, I wish you much success. You've done a great job so far, and I hope that you've inspired other people today. This has been Coffee at Home, and we'll see you next time.
We've had them up on our web pages, on social media. The business people have been using them themselves too, which is a nice value add. So, and now, of course, here. Three so far, and it's really interesting to be able to see these entrepreneurs in their office environment. And you know, Jim, you would think that working from home would be pretty easy and stress free, but what I've found is that a lot of these folks are balancing family responsibilities along with their work responsibilities, and it can be a real juggling act. Take me through a typical day with Andy and mosquito fighters. <laughs> uh, wake up in the morning, you know, probably six o'clock. Um, come downstairs, try to work on the scheduling. That's my biggest challenge, bookkeeping and scheduling. Um, have to line up the schedules for each individual driver for that truck that's going out in whatever direction that he's going. I have to provide that schedule for them. Um, I have to also make sure that the, the vans that are here in, in, in my, at my house that are fully stocked and loaded and ready to go for, for today's work. Um, I also have two, two children at home. Once they're out of the house, everybody's good. Uh, there is peace and quiet for me to focus on answering the phones. People will start calling around 7.45, 8 o'clock going, hey, you're coming today. You know, I know it rained for two weeks. Are we on the list? Please make us on the list because it's bad. You know, July we had record-breaking rainfall, so the mosquitoes right. are bad everywhere. So it, it's challenging for us to provide service for each person right away as soon as that rain stops. Right. So, um, and then once you know if there is the if the phone's not ringing and I'm able to do my work, it's back to scheduling for the next day. Um, what are we going to do? You know, how am I going to fit all of these people in? to make everybody happy. That's my goal, obviously, we want to make them happy. If they're not happy, then Mosquito Fighter's not doing a good job, and then the name doesn't spread, and, you know, I don't get the good publicity. So as you can see, his days are definitely full, and we got to see it firsthand. He did a great job. So, Jim, I also wanted to mention that as a part of our partnership with the county, the chamber offers membership and benefits for home-based businesses specifically. So we have a tier of membership just for home-based businesses, very inexpensive. We have a lot of other tools and benefits that help them build their business, including the use of conference space and uh, conference rooms at the chamber, and a whole lot of other different types of things, such as opportunities for networking and the ability to come into opportunities uh, with other members and uh, other businesses in the community. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. You know, it's always easy to do what you love and with whom you love. Thank you very much.
to the home show. You really are. This is um, it's an opportunity for us to help our humble businesses um, with marketing efforts. And um, as you know, with our business retention surveys every year, that's the number one thing we hear: businesses need marketing assistance. Um, so anything we can do to help with that, um, you know, to support these home based businesses, I think is a positive thing. So something else we're really excited about this year is that we have all six Peninsula localities on board to sponsor the event, and also Gloucester. will be held at the Peninsula Workforce Development Center in Hampton, and this larger venue will really help us to accommodate more attendees. Uh, in addition to all of the regular resources and marketing tools and amazing speakers that we have there, um, we've got some exciting new developments. We're really excited to launch this partnership because the YMCA is going to be offering a lot of benefits to their members uh, that you know, are really, they really are beneficial to a home-based business owner. For example, they offer two hours of free child care to any of their members. And they have found through their strategic planning process that a lot of their members are using that two hours for several things. So uh, checking email, uh, meeting with a client, having coffee with a client. Um, you know, maybe taking advantage of some of those. Um, lastly, we are going to be shooting some on-site Coffee at Home uh, vignettes so that we can capture some of our attendees and we want to hear about their businesses, want to hear about what they're doing, why they're home-based, what works, what doesn't, and, um, and maybe get some advice for our, watcher, our viewers. Absolutely. Um, anyone is welcome to come. Uh, it's open to any business in the region, and uh, we're going to have some great speakers this year. Uh, the registration is up online. You can go to hcbconference.com, and tickets are already available. So we're really excited about that. Yes, this one's my favorite, too. Jamie Fayetta of Turkey Touch did a great job, and once the planning committee saw the video, it was a lot. They said we have got to get her to provide the speaker gift for the conference. Hi, welcome to Coffee at Home, the show where we feature York County entrepreneurs who work from their home. My name is Chris Davidson, and today we're chatting with Jeannie Fayoka of Cookie Text. First of all, here we are in your commercial kitchen. You've turned your garage into an awesome kitchen. This is really cool. So, uh, when did you start your business? Oh, it was. 2011, uh -huh. I launched the uh, first orders when I was in the kitchen in October of 2011. So it seems to me that you've taken two things that people love, which is texting and cookies, and you put them together. So uh, in a couple of sentences, what is cookie text? We take your special message, we pair it with our homemade cookie cake, and we can deliver it for any occasion. Customers can order online as late as 9 o'clock the night before, and we can deliver a personalized delicious cookie cake as soon as the next day. So, um, how did you come up with the idea of cookie text? Oh, wow. Um, I had started decorating cakes for friends and had done my children's and then graduated to friends, was doing it, and it just kept getting fancier and fancier. And I realized I like the baking stuff. It brings me joy, but I don't like the, I need a cake and it could be something crazy. So, I realized when somebody says, I need a cake, but I want one of your cookie cakes, that I was like, <laughs> and I thought, cookie cakes are a lot more scalable. And I thought, well, what if I did cookie cakes with, like, a message on them, like a cookie gram, and just delivered nearby? Like, well, it would have to be text, cookie text. And honestly, the rest of the story is one day I was taking a nap, and I shot up and said, an edible tweet. And I thought, ah, oh, this has legs. <laughs> Instead of going out and having a retail location, you've turned your garage into this amazing commercial kitchen. Um, the only thing that I probably love more than my business is my children. And I absolutely love being a mother. It gave me the chance to still be a mother, but yet put a shingle out, hang out, hang out a shingle. If I get an order and yet 
Andrew had an orthodontic appointment. I can figure out how to get up early enough. All I have is that 10 a.m. deadline. How does it work for the customer, but then how does it work for you? So what does your process look like here? Uh, for the customer, all they have to do is go online to cookietext.com. Okay. There they can pick a cookie cake with text only, a cookie cake with text with an image on it. They can choose from six flavors, four sizes. They pick out the two, the from, the sprinkles, the uh, message they want on it. And then they just check out. And we get up in the morning, bake a cookie cake, let it cool, frost it, decorate, box, and hand deliver. And then, for instance, if you sent one to me, you'd get a text message letting you know that it, it had arrived. Of course it's a text message, right? <laughs> <Of course. laughs> so you get notifications here, right? So you'll probably yes. get a notification immediately on your phone, and then you go to work, right? Well, well I, get, I get emails, and okay. we do cut off orders at 9 o'clock the night before. Okay. So after 9 o'clock, I can look and see what's facing me the next day. Sure. And then, you know, depending on how many orders, that kind of dictates how early I get up. Who are your customers? Well, I like to believe that everybody likes a cookie text, so everybody could be a great cookie text customer, but we, anything from a happy birthday to thanks for taking my mail to sorry you lost your pet, we have got quite a nice footing with business to business gift giving, so anything from being a realtor to a builder to somebody that just is so happy that you referred them to somebody else. So for instance, today we had a realtor saying happy home anniversary to somebody, which is a great idea to keep themselves top of mind. a great idea yeah, to stay yeah. top of mind. We had a happy anniversary going to an employee over at CNU. So I've seen you at the Home-Based Business Resource Fair before. I know York County does support home-based businesses uh, quite a lot. So uh, how have we found that to be here in the county? Oh, unbelievable, actually. I mean, you don't get that everywhere. Like, sometimes it, there's some scrutiny when you say, I work out of my home. People are like, uh -uh. but not in York County. In York County, every other day, I'm getting an email about either you know the home-based business lunch and learn, or some other networking event, or resource fair, or educational program that the county does. So the county's been super supportive. When you first started the business, were there any extra things that needed to be worked through in terms of being a food service business? Yes, not with the county. The county is pretty easy and cut and dry, just because the business is more or less a business. The health stuff with regard to being a food-based business was a bit more difficult to navigate. And I think that is really kind of a deal breaker for a lot of people when they can't figure out which way to go. When we come out and interview entrepreneurs, I always like to ask them what piece of advice would they give someone who's thinking about operating a business from their home or even a commercial kitchen like this? I would say if you're going to try to launch a business, be it from your home or anywhere else, pick something you really love and that you really have a passion for. Because there are times in here where it's Valentine's Day and I haven't slept and I'm super busy. And I think, what if I had created something I didn't enjoy doing? And so follow your passion and it really won't feel like work. Well, I think it's really important to enjoy what you're doing and I can feel your passion. As a matter of fact, I also have a passion for cookies. So how do you think the interview went? Do I deserve a cookie? Yes, you do. All right. And I actually saved one and I thought, you know, since you're here, maybe you could help decorate. Really? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> the only thing better than coffee at home is coffee and cookies at home. Janie Fioka, thank you so much for having us in your home today and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. speaking I want one of those discs <laughs> seriously Melissa um, as you well know the home-based business movement is growing and we're so fortunate to have a large contingent of home-based businesses in York County um, they help grow our tax base and I think through these programs you and I and our whole team are able to develop a closer relationship with these businesses that if they grow exponentially, then hopefully we can keep them in York County and, and benefit from all they give back to the community. Um, and Cookie Text is a great example. They're very philanthropic. They do a lot of work with the York Foundation for Public Education, for example. Um, I played in a golf tournament not too long ago, and one of the gifts was from Cookie Text, and it, it was delicious. And I think other home-based businesses might want to think about things like that, philanthropic things like that, as another marketing you know, means of getting the word out about their products.
Um, anyway, these are very important businesses to York County, and I want to thank you for all of your hard work uh, to develop this program. It's been very successful, and I think it's going to be even more successful in the future. Thank you.